things seem to be looking pretty good in the first quarter. Um, I guess what happened after, after that? Yeah, I mean, this, they, they jumped us a little bit and thought we handled it well for a quarter. Um, yeah, but really disappointing that we weren't able to make the most of our opportunities in that first part of the game and then uh, got worse from there. So really disappointed with the second half in particular, obviously. Was it, was it, did it take you by surprise how, I mean, not want for a better word, but it just looked like the resistance seemed to sort of fall away a bit dramatically. How, how did you sort of see it? Yeah, I think we were all disappointed with uh, the way it panned out and how quickly the scoreboard got out of hand. Um, you know, if we just couldn't, couldn't find a way to, you know, connect going forward. You know, we were able to move the ball, not too bad, but we just couldn't find anything going forward. And I mean, our defence held up not too bad at different stages, but um, once it once it fell apart, it fell apart badly. And I think that was the most disappointing thing to come out of the game. Sam, you, CJ kicks that goal, puts you back in front in the second quarter, and there'd been a lot of sort of ping pong, a lot of turnovers to that point, and it looked like you know, anything could happen at that point. What was your assessment of what? As you said, the scoreboard got out of hand quite quickly. But what did you think happened just in that little stretch after, you know, that moment? Yeah, it would be interesting to have a look at, at the why. Uh, certainly we lost control of the game after that. Mm -hmm. And some of it was our own, you know, skill errors and, and some controllables from our end. Mm -hmm. um, but that shouldn't cause the what came. And so, mm -hmm. you know, some mistakes and conceding a goal or even two shouldn't shouldn't make this most significant damage that happened afterwards. And, I, you know, I think we had some good parts of the game that we controlled the game well and were able to open them up at different stages. But um, because we couldn't, we couldn't make the most of those chances, then we weren't able to maintain or get any sort of momentum for really two and a half quarters, which is a long time. Mm -hmm. um, not until right at the end we were able to kick a couple of late junk goals. Um, but really, we kicked four goals in the first quarter and really struggled to score completely mm. after that. So uh, it was a disappointing. Different when we, I think, when we look at that CJ goal, it'll be that was the moment where we could have really made the most of mm. it, and, and we weren't able to. When is that a, is it, sorry? Is that a function of just where you are as a? I mean, there's no as you say, there's no excuse for it. But is it just a function of having to get that bit of experience as a young team? You yeah, go I, through it. I don't. I don't know yet. To be honest, yeah. I think. I think if you look at our our playing group and what happened in those, there'll be some key moments that we lost a contest or we made a poor decision or um, you know rotated at the wrong time or mm. you know the basics of the game that um, that we might not always always get right. But and the more experience we get, the better we'll, we'll become at dealing with with adversities. But I still think today was um, you know a long way from what we expected as a as an internal group. I think we would have we would have expected to perform a lot better than we did today. Yep. Young midfield playing today, what do you think of the midfield battle in there? Yeah, I think it wasn't a very big stoppage game. It was quite a low stoppage game. I think there was only sort of five points in it from, from that aspect. So really it was a transition game. Um, I think they had 15 front half turnovers for six goals. We had 13 front half turnovers for zero goals. So um, we really struggled to we, when we did lock it in our front half, I don't, neither team could do it very well, um, but they scored from their turnovers and we didn't. So that was a big part of it. I think the midfield, you know, there were some pleasing aspects, I think. Uh, the rucks held up pretty well and the hitouts were, were strong. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't make the most of that dominance in the, in the ruck, but um, I think I think Frenchie had a you know, first game that he stood up and did a, did a few pretty special things. I think um, John Newcomb continue on. James Warple, I thought, was pretty strong through there, but... Um, in the end, just weren't able to control the momentum of the transition aspect of the game, which we know in today's game, if you can't if you can't control the transition speed of the opposition, then you're going to really struggle to defend scores, and that's what happened. What, what do you think? think? Uh, I mean, a little bit of it is is how we move the ball. Um, so I know we, we sub Cozzy out. Um, because we just thought the, the way we were moving the ball forward hadn't hadn't been effective, and and having him there, he gave us you know a pretty good contest for the majority of the time that he was out there. But we decided to go a little bit smaller, try something a little bit different. I mean, we could have kept doing what we were doing, but it clearly wasn't working, and it didn't didn't look like a way out. So going with a smaller forward line, moving Blake Hardwick back into the front end, um, you know, I think 
Finn McGuinness did a pretty good job on merit. I think he had you know seven or eight at half time and finishes with his 25. So it shows you how how important he was to them. And um, unfortunately, we couldn't we couldn't hold Finn's role while looking so impotent in front of the ball. So being able to make a change, um, you know, I didn't want to get to the end of the game and say we should have tried something. So it didn't work, but we'll live and learn. Do you think the defence sat back because? They were actually feeling like it was bouncing back too hard and that kind of stopped your ability to counter-attack? I mean, there's a part of it. Part of being a defender is having the courage to go forward. I think we see a lot of the best defences in the competition have that courage to move forward and we did it at different stages, but not consistently enough. Is, is Wingard OK, Sam? I think he, as far as I know, he just cramped in his calf and um, you know, it was late in the game, game was over, so it's not any point bringing him bringing him back on. I think it was cramping his calf at this stage, but obviously there's a, a lot of cramping across the competition at the end of round one, so we'll, we'll assess that over the week. What did you make of Cam McKenzie? Early looked looked like he was a top ten pick. Yeah, I mean, Cam certainly got um, a bit of composure about him. He does some really nice things with the boys still learning the game and still got you know some off-the-ball stuff that, that he's got to work on, but I, I mean, I think if you're playing your first game and you have that level of composure and understanding, I think in the first 10 minutes of the game, we couldn't find a mark at all. I think it was 10 marks. They had 10 marks before we'd taken one. And it wasn't until he got it and he found someone that was like, oh, that's what we've needed. And so you get that from a first game or it bodes well for the future for the young men. Do you think, it, I mean, everyone talks about your lack of depth and the sort of youth of your team. Do you see today as like an aberration that, you know, you just weren't anywhere near what you're capable of even now in those second and third quarters? Yeah, I mean, I hope so. Um, I, I think I, I look at our performances over a summer and, I mean, everyone trained well and had a great pre-season. I'm sure every team is saying that. But um, I look at how we've trained, how we've gone about it, how our attitude has been, and I look at the performance today and it's certainly not what we expected as a group. I think uh, we would have expected to be much better for much longer you know and we showed some very small patches of some decent football but a long way from what we think we're capable of as a side and um, you know we're not going to get it right every week but I'd expect we're going to be better than that.